Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And a day or so ago, I showed you how to use the virtual extruder with Kira and the A10M. Friends, I got some tips from other YouTubers, so let me show you what I found out. All right, friends. So if you remember right, we printed this little dude with supposed to be white eyes, pink lips, and a red base. A uh, pretty quick print, but you can see those colors did not show up the way they were supposed to. One of my favorite things of creating a video like this is I get to hear other YouTubers tell me uh, other facts that I may have missed. So one is that the bed should be 235 by 235. I have heard that before. I'm going to stick with 230 because I've seen mine get to the edge and it's close enough and I'm happy with it. But that's easy for you to explore. Now this one about the purge tower being minimum of 40 millimeters cubed. Mine was six. So that's going to be an interesting adjustment. And then we also talked down here about how the nozzle retraction is set for 16, which is way too much. So we're going to change that as well. So real quickly, I'm going to get in Kira, and you'll need to find these little pieces that I have enabled. Now the way to track them down is just simply type right here, and when it says nozzle, it'll look through all of them, and you can see that it shows those, and I made them so that they'll show up. Make sure once you've added the pieces you want, you clear the little search, otherwise it hides everything else you're looking for. And then I also did the same thing to get the prime tower minimum volume, and I set that to 40 as recommended. I also played with my X position, and I moved it so that it was right in the middle of the bed, so it stayed on the same path. And then I moved it to 150 away so it had plenty of distance. I had shut off prime tower brim, but I'm going to bring it back. And I just don't want my prime tower to fall off because that would be a total drag. And then I do want it lined up again, so I'm going to change that to 130. I'm going to try that 133 last time I missed. I like that. That seems to be right on the middle. And I think it's going to be pretty effective. I'm also going to change that nozzle retraction to 6 instead of 16. Once again, I've still got slice shut off or auto slice. So now when I hit slice it'll slice the project and once again we're gonna send it to print via USB I've already got it set that way and let's see how long it says it's gonna take I'm gonna hide this and it says it's gonna be 12 minutes so I will also set up a little camera and let's get ourselves a time-lapse of the whole process as well Let's quickly disable the steppers so we can slide this back safely. And then pry it off the bed. I'm recording this audio after I did it just because the fan noise was so loud. But as you can see, I am not having any adhesion troubles. And here, we finally get the little guy to pop off here. Uh, as you can see, it is turning out really sweet. Uh, if you look real closely here, I have got the totally white eyes and a pink mouth where the mixing actually did its job. So my friends, there it is printed out just like you expect. White eyes, pink mouth where it did the mixing. 
all built right in to Kira 4.5 once we added the little bit of configuration. I want to send a huge shout out to 1Z Radio. The tips about the Prime Tower were awesome. Also changing the retraction was super slick and it turned out really cool having this aligned right on the x-axis that made everything more efficient as well. And right now what can I say I'm ecstatic about trying to create new things that actually mix colors and turn out sweet projects. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, make sure you add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.